my lovelies and welcome to this week's episode. black eye which I think makes me look like a little bit of a badass and I thought what's the perfect car to go with this look well perfect car for, hello, for this look I thought let's go with something muscly something beefy something American haven't driven anything like that since the Mustang oh well here we are in a 2014 6.2 actual beast of an engine Camaro oh god they're just so much fun aren't they just so much freaking fun they're big and they're heavy and they're beastly and they're angry and they're really good in a straight line and don't try and take any bends with them <laughs> at any type of speed because you just get all this flicking and flopping about but value for money wise I say the same as I said with the Mustang Woo! you got a lot of bronco <laughs> get a lot of bronco for your buck <laughs> I don't think that makes any sense in any country but um, you know what I mean you get a lot of car for your money I mean these nowadays they're going for I mean this is 2014 as I said kilometers in this are a little bit high because my friend who owns it drives the car everywhere and when I say everywhere I don't mean oh it's his daily driver no he travels in this car it's his daily driver it's his commute car it's his holiday car he uses this car for everything to pick up the ladies which apparently he's very successful with because of this car um but yeah you use it for everything but these cars nowadays you can get for around twenty-five thousand euros here in spain that's with spanish registration tax paid and all of that stuff um and what else can you get for 25 grand that would give you this much excitement and that stands out because it's not very many of them right so she does look completely different to everything else on the road but still puts massive big smile on your face every time you do that will you get stopped by the police a lot i imagine so why wouldn't you <laughs> why wouldn't you especially if you go around town and flicking the tail out on every roundabout <sighs> God, how I'm gonna miss this. I was just having a Mexican hot chocolate with my friend. I think that's why my face looks so, looks so rosy. My face looks so rosy. Um, Cause I was just having a Mexican hot chocolate with him, talking about the car to get a little, little feel for him. I wanted him to be in the video, but he looks way too much like um, the boxer Tyson Fury. And I didn't want to cause confusion for you guys. I like to be the center of attention. Um, so he was telling me a bit about the car, you know, how long he's had it for, what he's going to change it for, and he doesn't know, he doesn't know what to get next. What do you do after this? And he was telling me about cars, cars that his friends have bought, and I said, coming to an end, this is it. The cars that we see now on the market that excite us, that get us going, are going to be less and less with each passing year and what we see now is as good as it's going to get when it comes to a big heavy engine i mean as i said at the beginning of this video it's a 6.2 without going to super mega hypercar what what car offers you that not very many nowadays and it's such a shame now she's automatic 
automatic. I know these come in manual also. This one is automatic. Um, gearbox is quick enough. I mean, obviously, if you compare it to latest generation of uh, Mercedes, Audi, BMW, you can feel a tad bit of a lag. But again, she's 2014, so it wouldn't be a fair comparison anyway. Sound, freaking beautiful. I got in her. I didn't have to you know get the instruction manual out to figure out how to start her up or how to get her going it's all very simple the interior layout is just simple and nice and i can see oh how much petrol's the car got got it there in front of me what's the oil temperature what's this you know it's all there it's all going on it's all looking nice it's all very simple steering wheel feels nice chunky as you would expect this type of car to feel what else can i say about her brakes well I feel, I feel the same as I did with the Mustang. Braking is not her forte. Um, but again, that's why I said don't try and take her up, you know, a mountain road. She is a motorway road. She's have a bit of fun here and there. That kind of car. Oh, she's just lovely. She just wants to go. I just want to have like nice weather, nice road trip in her. That's that's what I want to do with her. Now she's filthy. <laughs> she's filthy because we had the first our rainy season is just starting right here in Marbella. So we're towards the end of Feb, rainy season started, and that means it's going to rain now for a couple of weeks, three maybe four max, and then we'll be okay if you have a few drizzles in April around Easter time, and then that's it. It's over. Sun, heat, it's all going on. The first rain of the season always carries a lot of like dust in the air in sand because we're opposite Africa so we get when there's wind and whatnot we get a lot of sand over here and every car every car is brown <laughs> right now it just rained this morning and it just rained shit basically so excuse the state of the outside of this car we were debating if to wash it or not but I mean it's it's always just it's just going to continue like this for, for a couple of weeks so there's just no point whatsoever what are you doing sir what are you doing gentlemen with your bicycle anyway that's it for me from me for me that's it for me and from me for today um that was very joyful god she's a lot of fun she's big but she's very pretty and a lot of fun. I hope I don't get the front of her scraped. I'm just going to leave the arse out. Um, she just all works. Everything works in her. The leather's lovely and I haven't even tried the sound. Uh, I haven't even tried the sound system because there's no need because the engine sound is so beautiful. When I started it up, you just, you, it's just constant thrills and enjoyment so anyway enough for me this girl is up for sale if anyone's in the Marbella area or Europe even and looking for something like this she has just under 190,000 kilometers 190 what's that like 100,000 miles a little bit less um, yeah a little bit less she's high kilometers if you compare it to anything else in the market, but very well looked after. And um, it's motorway miles, so she looks in great condition. She's lovely. Wear and tear is minimum, even on the seats. But um, any of you are interested in buying her, let me know, hit me up, comments, or you guys who are on Instagram, just DM me. And uh, it was a pleasure doing this video. I don't want to get out of the car. I might just stay here for a bit. I would, but my dog's in my car next to me and he's giving me the puppy dog eyes so let's go you guys have a lovely this is going to be posted on sunday so you guys have a lovely sunday and i will see you this time next week bye